Yeah, Terquavion, UNC was able to get out in the first half and really just shoot well and shoot some open shots from beyond the three-point line. What did you see that kind of led to their ability to get so open and hit so many shots? Uh, they were hot on their home court. We couldn't find a way to make a miss. So you see the outcome. Next question is going to be from Brett Friedlander. Kwebian, on the other end of the court, what made it so difficult for you to get shots, especially uh, uh, Darion inside? Was there bigs uh, doing that good of a job of keeping you away from the rim? I wouldn't say they did that good of a job, you know. It just won't go on our way tonight, and we couldn't get to the basket. We didn't get a lot of calls. I, I, it's a lot I can say, but I mean, hey, bounce back. Next question is going to be from James Henderson. Yeah, Terquavion, similar question to Brett there. When, when you're driving to the basket, were, were the passing opportunities open? I mean, what was the game plan? Was it to try and finish at the rim or maybe look to drop off after after driving? Uh, if you get in there, you make you, you got to be able to make plays. You got to have a high IQ level. You either pass it, you go up, you know. There's certain things you can do in certain different situations, so. You just got to make the best play. Next question is going to be Todd Gibson. Yeah, Trick, how do you how do you guys bounce back from this one? I mean, does it make you mad? Is it something that, that can fuel you guys going forward? Uh, personally, yeah, I'm mad, you know. But, hey, we just got to bounce back, you know. We got to lock in on the defense end. Uh, we can score with anybody in the country, as you can see. We put up 80. They just, we just gave up 100, so. Corey Smith. Maybe obviously not the result you guys wanted in either one of these two games, but you know between the Duke and UNC game at this point, you've combined to score over fifty points in those two. I mean, how important are those games to you, and how much does that fuel you now at this point to try to win these games in the future as well? Uh, I would say, you know me, I'm going hard every time I get the chance. You know, even if I'm not hitting, you know, I'm still going hard. I give my I give my all to NC State every time I step on the floor. That's the reason I came to NC State anyways. And kind of feeding off of what Todd just asked you, I mean, looking forward to these next several games, obviously, you know, you start February uh, with several games at home. How much do you guys need to get back on track at home uh, before you get back on the road as well? Uh, we definitely need to get back on track. I mean, I feel like we just got to lock in, man. Lock in on defense and end, get stopped. We got to start stacking stops. If we ain't getting no stops, then it just ain't going to work. Thank you. I think we've got another question from Todd Gibson. Yeah, Jacqueline, you know, did, did somebody take, kind of take the lead in the, in the locker room after the game and say, hey, this is unacceptable and, 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 uh, and, and kind of give you guys a uh, uh, talking to after the game, possibly at any of the players? Uh, we always, all, we all hold each other accountable. Uh, for me personally, I talk, to my, I talk to my teammates on the court, off the court. I let them know when they're wrong and they let me know when I'm wrong. I can hold it and I can give it out too. So, you know, 